one thing that everyone needs to survive is water. If we keep abusing water sources and throwing chemicals into large bodies of water, we may not have any clean water to live on. One of the best kept secrets in Nebraska is that almost every major river is polluted. Even though research is being done to monitor polluted water sources, people should be aware of what causes pollution, how it affects us, and solutions to stop it. To begin with, many people don't realize what water pollution is. According to Chris Woodford, water pollution usually means one or more substances have built up in water to such an extent that they can cause problems for people and animals. Quantity is what you need to think about in addition to water pollution. It's about how much of a polluting substance is, into, is put into a volume of water. Just as small quantities of toxic chemicals spilled from a ship and the ocean may have little impact, but then the same amount of toxic chemical spilled into a lake or river would have a bigger impact, where there's less clean water. Furthermore, there are different types of water pollution. When we think of huge oceans, lakes, and rivers, we're thinking of surface waters. Another type of water pollution occurs to underground rock structures known as aquifers. Aquifers are our groundwater and the water that comes from our faucets. People don't realize that the pollution of groundwater is more of a problem, but it gets unnoticed. According to Chris Woodford, there was a study done that found that over half the state's groundwater wells were contaminated with weed killers. There are also two other ways that the water so sources are polluted. When pollution comes from one location, such as a discharge pipe attached to a factory, it's known as point source pollution. But when pollution comes from many different sources, it's called non-point pollution. By being aware of the different types of pollution, you can understand how they work. The next concept to be aware of is causes of water pollution. Human activity is the number one cause of water pollution. When farmers fertilize their fields, the chemicals gradually seep into the groundwater, causing pollution. Another way would be chemicals released by chimneys that enter the atmosphere and fall back to earth when it rains, and in seas, rivers, and lakes. It's called atmospheric deposition. Water pollution has many different causes, which is why it's hard to control. When thinking of water pollution, many people think that it does not affect them or that it doesn't occur where they live. In reality, that's not true. If people would just do the research themselves instead of waiting for it to be bad enough to reach the news, they may be able to prevent the negative consequences that it could bring. According to Algis Lucas from the Lincoln Jar Journal Star, Nebraska's waterways are the sixth worst in the nation for toxic pollution. Just think about that. How in the world did we get to be sixth worst in the nation? It's because people like you and I don't appreciate the world that we live in. Yeah, you may be thinking to yourself, it's not going to affect me, so why does it matter? Well, that trash you threw on the ground may not affect you, but when your children and grandchildren and great children are growing up with little to no clean water, you are a contributing factor. Why should future generations be the ones to clean after, up after our mess? Businesses are one of the largest contributing factors to water pollution. According to Algis Lucas, corporate agribusiness is including slaughterhouses and poultry plants were responsible for about one-third of all direct discharges of nitrates in waterways. But the biggest polluter in Nebraska comes from Tyson Fresh Meats Incorporation. They dump 4,220,500 pounds of toxic pollution into the state's waterways. There's got to be a better way to dispose of the toxic material. Another problem in Nebraska is the degradation of rivers. According to Lely Unions, Nebraska has 58% of rivers in poor health, 20% 6% in fair condition, and 16% in good condition. One of the biggest problems is the high levels of nutrient pollution caused by nitrogen and phosphorus washing in, river, in the river from farms, cities, and sewers. The last way that water pollution affects us is health issues caused by it. 1011 News reports that Environmental American Research and Policy Center report summarizes that chemicals from polluted water can cause cancer, reproductive problems ranging from birth defects to infertility and learning disabilities. If water sources are polluted, many people can get very sick. For example, if people decide to go fishing in polluted waters, they can get very sick from it. Many people want to help out with pollution, but they don't know how to. Well, there are many things that you can do at home to help with water pollution. Some ways to reduce water pollution, according to the Metropolitan North Georgia Water Planning District, would be able to never would be never dump anything that you wouldn't want to drink or swim in onto the street, down a storm drain, or into a drainage ditch. Clean up after your pet. Compost your leaves and clippings. Don't apply fertilizers and pesticides before a big rain. These are just few of the ways that can help. you can help with water pollution from your home. Another way to help water pollution, according to Chris Woodford, is through education, laws, and economics. And education is one of the most important ways to help with water pollution. Making people aware of the problem is the first step to solving it. Another way to help pollution is through laws. If there's a law that 
is that they come in these can't dispose of toxic materials and rivers and may solve many problems. They would get a huge fine or shut down if they are caught. The last way to help with water pollution is through economics. There's something called the polluter pays principle, which means whoever causes the pollution should have to pay to clean it up. For example, tanker owners would have to take out insurance for oil spills or shoppers might have to start paying for their plastic bags. Ultimately, the polluter pays principle is supposed to help the people make better decisions and help them behave in an environmentally safe way. Life is all about choices and so is pollution. You can be one to make a change, but if you decide to litter and throw the trash on the ground, ultimately it will come back to you. You'll be the one living in a world full of sewage strewn beaches, dead rivers, and fish that are too poisonous to eat. Or you can decide to throw your trash in the trash can where it belongs. You will then be helping the environment by giving plants, animals, and people a safe place to live. As you can see, water pollution is growing, which means there's not much time left before we run out of clean water. By taking steps to eliminate water pollution, you can contribute to helping save the world. It's up to you to make the right decisions.